fleet's home to a herd of 17 Bactrian camels. Measuring more than two meters to the top of their twin humps, they're the largest living camel species. In the winter, they grow these fabulous shaggy coats, but when summer comes, they shed. The keepers at the park help this process along, and today, Jean's helping out. So, Rosie, should we give the Bactrian camels a hand? I definitely think so. I think they need a hand, because sometimes some of that fluff doesn't always want to come off, so yeah. I think they'd much appreciate that. So will they mind us kind of pulling at their hair? Um, no, in general, they actually appreciate it. They actually quite like it. Um, it's good for them to just get a little bit of contact with us as yeah. well. You might pull off a little bit that may be a little bit attached, but don't worry too much. Don't you come? So I have some food. I'll give them a call. Come on, camels! Come on, camels! There you go. We've got some excitement now. Let's get rid of some of that hair. Come on over. If you just find anything really long, mm -hmm. they might be a little bit nervous. Anything really pale as well, because you can see like on him here. Yeah, they're he's different colours. Yeah, he's got this fluffy stuff around the edge that's getting really pale. It's going to really easily peel off. Whereas some of this darker mane might stay for a little bit longer. Yeah, so we want to leave that. Yeah. Just have a little lean out. See if you can grab it. So you see I've just pulled out a little bit there. How so you can see how easy it came out. It does take quite a long time. Especially when they don't maybe have as many things to scratch on as they do in the wild. Also in the sand, they'd be able to roll and it would pull off a little bit as well. Of course, yeah. So we do like to give them a little bit of a hand. There you go. Any of that, all of this sort of stuff. You've got to pull quite hard, don't be shy. There you go. There you go. Any of that. You're good, yeah. There you go. Any, wow. any of that. It's a pretty much like lamb's wool to yeah, touch. Yeah, definitely. It? Really thick, um, really, but quite fine actually. Surprisingly, it's not as um, a sort of like coarse as you might expect. It's quite fluffy. Jad will go for it if you want to reach out for that. She's pretty friendly. There you go. This cycle of shedding hair and growing back the woolly coat is so important for them in the wild, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Where these guys live, places like Mongolia and things like that, it can actually go in the year from um, a temperature sort of plus 40 to down to minus 40 at night and also in the winter. And sometimes it, it even snows, so this coat is really important to them. But it is important as well that they do shed that so that when it does get into those really warm months, they don't overheat. So, um, oh, uh, myrtle. I said no, it's not your bag either. Hey, come on. They're very hungry camels today and they're not very well behaved, this lot, they're quite no. naughty. So I'm going to continue with this. We could be here a while because there's quite a lot of coats to get no. through. But uh, after a bit of this grooming, they're all going to be looking really good.